everybody, we are here with another Halloween craft and we're going to be making string pumpkins today. And I have a couple of little water balloons like this blown up. One I did with less air, so it would be a little bit rounder. And then one is a little bit taller. So pumpkins come in all shapes and sizes. So what we're going to need is, it's a little staticky here. Um, Embroidery floss in orange. We need two of these. And I believe one of these will be plenty because we're going to try to do the stem on there. I haven't tried it yet, but I don't know why it wouldn't work. And I'm going to work on a tray just because stuff is going to drip. And you'll want to plan ahead um, to have something to put, put the pumpkins in when they're drying and dripping because it, it does get a little bit messy and you want to have it to be able to sit on something. All I did was I took a couple of water bottles, cut them down um, so they can sit there and drip right into there, and then I'll just throw it all into the recycling bin. Now the other thing that you'll need is um, liquid starch, and I'm just going to put it in a bowl straight. I'm not watering it down or anything. Now for each of the um, pumpkins, you're going to use one full thing of embroidery floss and I learned this the hard way what you want to do is you want to un unwind it when you're putting it in there and you want to put the whole thing into the liquid starch um, but kind of unwind it as you're doing it don't just throw the whole thing in there I did that the first time because I thought how hard could this be and I got all kinds of tangled and when you get to the end putting it in, just keep um, a little piece out, um, dunk it in there, but kind of keep it out. And then we're going to just open this a little bit so we don't have to do it when our fingers are all wet. And I'll unravel it a little bit just to get it started, put it aside. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take the end, and all you're going to do is keep going back and forth, crisscrossing it. Um, and you're kind of pulling it out of the starch as you're doing it. Now I'm just going up and down, but there doesn't have to be any type of pattern um, while you're doing this. You could crisscross it, it makes no difference. So do it any which way and do that until you have um, the entire um, piece of embroidery floss on, on your balloon. Now you do want to be careful because we're doing a stem on here is to kind of keep the part that's tied out. You don't want that to be all buried in there. Okay, I have it all on and now I'm going to take, you'll see what I mean what I'm going to try to do here. I'm going to take a pretty good piece of the brown embroidery floss. And I do like to use, you can use, you know, string or um, yarn or whatever you want to use, but I like the embroidery floss because they come in really, really beautiful colors. And if you're doing a small one like this, usually you can get away with one thing of embroidery floss, and it's pretty inexpensive. Um, now all you're going to do is take it and twist it around that top part, and that's going to be the stem of the pumpkin. And let's say you had cut off not enough of the brown. Um, don't worry about it. It's really easy just to add a little bit more on it. And it'll just stick with the um, with the starch. So keep creating your stem. Okay, we have a cute little pumpkin stem there. Now in the event that this doesn't stick, because I haven't tried this before, um, it's no big deal if that brown part pops off because we can just use some white glue or something to, to put it back on there and you'll never see it. But at least it's in the shape and you know that it fits. Tuck that piece in and we will set it right on top of our water bottle to dry. Um, and I'll do the other one and when they're all done We'll see how it is. I'll leave them to um, dry overnight. It's the next day and we're back with our um, pumpkins, our string pumpkins. All we're going to do is, um, I'm using a needle tool, but you can use a toothpick, whatever. 
um, to just poke it and then it'll deflate like that. And then all you have to do is take some tweezers and pull out pull out the balloon. And and I had warned you that this might happen where the um, the brown part might come off. That's not a problem at all. All we'll do is glue this back on. Now depending on how you want to use it, this might be a good opportunity to put um, a string on there or a hanger. Now I'm going to take this as the opportunity to put like a nice green ribbon on there. I'm going to cut it a little longer. And all I'm going to do is tie a knot in the bottom right there and I'll trim off any excess. Um, I've cut it and now all I'm going to do is kind of fold it a little bit. and thread it through. And now with that knot, it's going to be able to hold it. However, just for a little insurance, I'm going to put a little hot glue in there so it'll hold it in place. And then I will plop it right back where I had pulled it from. Let that cool and then you'll have a really cute way to hang it. And we'll do the other one pop it, pull it through, see it came apart again, as we suspected. So we ended up pulling a little extra out, which I'm just going to trim right off. You can't even tell. I'll cut a ribbon, tie the knot, feed it through like we did before. Give it a little push with your toothpick or whatever you're using. Gets hung up there. Trim off any excess. Dab glue. Put it on down there. Let it cool. And you have these cute little pumpkin ornaments. Little string ball ornaments. And you could you, you can certainly skip the string and just have them in a bowl on the table. That would be cute too. So I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Um, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Happy Halloween and happy crafting.